Ond ni'n ffotis bod un o'n cydweithwyr wedi bod mewn cysylltiad efo Sionet o Cymunedau Digidol Cymru cyn y Nadolig a nathon ni allu e, trefnu diwrnod y ffordiant yn hachwedd e, i gael hi drosodd y man hwb dyn byth i The Skin Team ni fel Team Entro Cymunedol Grŵp Cynefin. Fwy o wybodaeth am yr adnoddau digidol e, fedyn ni ddefnyddio i wahanol a gweddion gwaith. Oedd y wybodaeth e, nathon ni gael gyn Cymunedau Digidol Cymru cyn y hyfforddiant yn ystod ac ar ôl, yn werthfawr iawn i ni o ran yn gwaith dydd i ddydd. Mae wedi gallu helpu ni gwella ein cyfannog y tynantiaid o ran dynyddio ffyrdd mwy digidol o help arn yn tynantiaid ac rhannu gwybodaeth yn ni angen rhannu hefo nhw o ran pethau perthnasol sydd yn newid mewn gwasanaethau neu newid o herwydd yr llywodraeth. Um, a mae wedi bod yn help fawr i'r prosiect Bystop hefyd o ran nathon ni ddysgu am lot o apps newydd oedden ni heb glywed am fel hyd at fel pobl ifanc yn meddwl bod ni reid da heb ar ochr digidol o bethau. So oedd yr Bystop yn medru dysgu am apps i wneud efo iechyd, fe sy'n gallu helpu i'r sesiynau, apps sy'n gallu helpu efo cyllido, fe sy'n gallu helpu efo sesiynau ar y stadoedd neu mewn cynlluniau gwahanol hefyd. Mae'r hyfforddiant gan Cymunedau Digadol Cymru wedi helpu ni ar mwyn hyrwydo'r prosiect. Da ni wedi datblygu gwefan Facebook ni. Mae'n bwys i gynnig gadw cysonrwydd ar mwyn bod ddefnyddwyr ein gwasanaeth ni yn gallu cadw trac ar beth da ni'n wneud a beth i'r prosiectau sydd yn dofynnu gyda ni. Felly, ers y hyfforddiant, da ni wedi cael pedwar iPad newydd er mwyn medru mynd allan i'r cymunedau fel bod bobl yn cael mynediad i'r rhyngrwyd yn unrhyw le. Felly, da ni wedi medru dod â technoleg gwybodaeth i fewn i unrhyw sesiynau a pecynnau. Mae'r prosiect Bestop yn prosiect sy'n cael ei oriannu gan dri cymdeithas dau ac awdurdod lleol. Felly mae Grŵp Cynefin, Taegol Grŵp Cymru, Cartrefi Conwy ac Strategaeth Tai Conwy yn talu fewn i'r prosiect. Cerbyd mae'r prosiect yn ddefnyddio um, i fynd o gwmpas cynlluniau gwahanol a statoedd gwahanol. Ac ar y cerbyd mae yna y rhyngrwyd, teledu, byrddau ac mae jyst yna wyrgylch mwy anffurfiol i rannu gwybodaeth ac ateb unrhyw gwestiynau neu isiws gyda nhw yn codi. Mae'r prosiect yn gallu cymunig amryw o wasanaethau. Mae nhw'n gallu helpu hefo problemau yn ddygaid gwrthdrasol, dysgu plant am natur, o gwmpas iechyd, o gwmpas cyllido a materion ariannol. Mae'r cymorth yn ni wedi cael gyn cymunedau digidol Cymru yn galluogi ni i wneud y sesiynau mewn ffordd mwy interactive a digidol. Mae hynny'n gwneud hi'n haws i ni rhannu gwybodaeth, casglu gwybodaeth ac yn gwneud o'n ffordd mwy hwylus o bobl yn gallu ffeindio allan beth maen nhw wedi bod eisiau ffeindio allan y stalwm ac i ateb unrhyw gwestiwn sy'n gynnwys nhw. Felly, da ni'n mynd ar tabledu allan i'r cytrefi gofal ychwanegol fel bod defnyddwyr gwasanaeth yna yn cael eu cynnwys, ddim yn cael eu gadael allan yn digidol. Y siampl o hyn ydy er enghraifft, da ni'n mynd yna fel bod nhw'n dod i arfer gyda sut i ddefnyddio nhw ac maen nhw eisiau help gyda pethau er enghraifft Skype. A mae hyn hefyd yn taclo ynysu cymdeithasol oherwydd maen nhw dal mewn cysylltiad gyda teuluoedd. Y hyfforddiant wedi codi ymwybyddiaeth am apiau sy'n ddefnyddiol ar gyfer ein sesiynau. A mae wedi helpu ni ar gyfer gwerthuso ar diwedd sesiynau fod o'n ffordd mwy diddorol i bobl ifanc i fedru rhoi adborth yn ôl. I'm a, a community services worker for Mental Health Matters Wales. We're based in Bridgend. We're a charity that supports people with mental health issues in the Bridgend borough. And we deliver a number of different services, one of which is the Wellbeing Centre here. We try and sort of encourage all of our service users to use the equipment, whether that's the iPads, the tablets, the laptops. If anything, if they ask us a question, we say, perhaps sometimes on purpose, oh, I don't know that, should we Google it? Should we have a look? And um, sometimes I generally don't know the answer to the questions. And it's just a way to sort of encourage them to get familiar with the equipment, because that's primarily, isn't it, a lot, of, a lot of the issues. The equipment we receive from Digital Communities Wales in total was a laptop, a tablet, the iPad, the wireless keyboards, the Bluetooth speakers, um, and the service users use them in a variety of different ways. Sometimes it is just for shopping or searching the internet. They've used it to register for courses, to look at things for the, on the NHS websites. They tend to use a lot here we encourage obviously it's all about healthy eating and mindfulness and well-being 
and referring on to other agencies so they use it for that. Plus we've had a couple of service users who have registered with courses in the local further education colleges and one of our service users regularly does his sort of coursework when he was enrolled on those courses so he used it used the computers for that used excel and some of the other sort of microsoft packages how i got into this technology was um, fairly straightforward i enrolled in a night school in the tech and uh, doing uh, simple spreadsheets, which the, they teach you. And I also bought um, comprehensive books in uh, Open University, which I enrolled later on a course, which I managed to pass. Through Mental Health Matters Wales, through our wellbeing centres and our community cafes, we, I guess we reach in excess of 500 service users across the, the county, and that's Kendrick Hill, Mystag, Pencoes, Bridgens, and Kevin Glass as well. And certainly a high percentage, I would say probably getting on for 80% of those, wouldn't have access to any other form of equipment or get online or anything like that if it wasn't for the equipment that we have here. We support people in the community with, with mental health issues and it, it is harder at times to engage some of those service users with the World Wide Web just by nature of its technology. We do support them and sit with them. It is more difficult, certainly with people with learning disabilities. For them, it's, a lot of the time, it's just they've, they've talked themselves into they can't do it. And once they realise how easy it is and how straightforward, and once, certainly when they see the iPads and how user-friendly it is, you know, because it's all apps and it's all pictures, they just are blown away by it. It's really exciting. It's like, because like, I can't call my brother, because like, since my brothers are abroad and I don't want my belt to be sky high, so I use social media like Facebook to keep in contact with them. These people are angels in my sight, and they serve the local community. They do it absolutely free, with no praise or commendation from anyone. They, do, they spare their time for the general good of the community. So I'm Sarah Cadman. I'm the uh, guider in charge of the 60th Cardiff Guides. We meet in Rubina and we're part of Cardiff and East Glamorgan Guide County. So about a year ago I was uh, approached by one of our county commissioners in guiding to see whether this unit would be prepared to pilot a new badge for guides called the Digital Hero Badge and that was in partnership with Digital Communities Wales. Within guiding there are several interest badges that the girls can complete. Sometimes they do them on their own and sometimes they're done in their patrols, their groups or as a whole unit. And this one is one that we decided we would do as a whole unit. Any badge that is uh, endorsed by girls guiding UK will have a syllabus to it which um, has a number of clauses sometimes depending on the badge sometimes that could be up to five that could be up to ten so with this badge a syllabus had been devised by members of the county I believe in partnership and we decided as a guide unit Following a, a meeting with um, Matt from Digital Communities Wales, we would target a particular group of the community and that was after a discussion with the girls around who they thought might benefit from our intervention in terms of uh, their digital heroism. I'd like to help my nan get online because she invests in all these different types of technology but she doesn't really know how to use them. I maybe like to help my grandma just learn how to do like FaceTime because I don't think she does and then she'll be able to communicate with my family better. Following that then we went through the syllabus and we decided that we would um, target members of the Trefoil Guild which is a part of Girl Guiding um, for anyone aged over 18 but our local Trefoil Guild has quite a few retired members of Girl Guiding within it so we asked them if they would be interested in learning more about how they could use the internet to help them in their day-to-day -day life. From then we had several planning meetings um, as a whole unit to look at 
what we might show those people, how we would get them here, what sorts of things we would look at, uh, what information that they might need to think about. So for example, uh, one of the clauses within the syllabus was about internet safety. So they needed to think about, for example, not giving their full names, being clear about whether they were wearing logos so they weren't giving away their um, identity without realising it. We also talked about things like using passwords online or um, how you might use chat rooms, for example. Um, trolling on social media came up. Um, this was all from the girls. They were, they were really well into it. It went really well. They really enjoyed it. The girls were really, really um, interested and re were really spending a good amount of time trying to explain what they meant and how things worked. They were incredibly patient, actually. And the uh, women who came to that session gave really positive feedback, said so they'd really enjoyed it and learnt a lot. I think a couple of them had set up their own Facebook accounts then as well. Uh, we helped like, mainly elderly people who don't really know much about technology. It was quite fun watching the um, ladies react and looking surprised and kind of confused as well as, but we taught them as we were going along. We had to show them how to like um, do online shopping and social media and um, show them how to set up their email. I enjoyed getting them online because they didn't really know about that so we enjoyed educating them in that area. So we piloted the badge, it went down really well, we had really good feedback, the girls really enjoyed it and so we passed on to Girl Guiding Cardiff and East Glamorgan, our guiding county, that it had been a success and as I understand it that syllabus is now available for guides across Wales to access and to complete the badge as well. We're